Welcome back to Das Lab. Today we are in our 4000 series of uh, videos on making food. Um, what I've got here is a piece of uh, pea meal bacon, Canadian bacon some might call it. And uh, normally I would cut this up into nice pieces and then um, cook it in a little bit of water and kind of poach it basically. Uh, today we're going to be putting it on the barbecue. So. Uh, in preparation, I'm going to cut this into some nice uh, portion size pieces. But we're going to do something a little bit special on the barbecue. And I'm going to make up a little bit of a wet rub for it. It's an experiment. never done it before. Um, and you're going to be here to watch it. Now this is already cured ham so it's not like uh, it's got to be um, cooked like a big piece of meat that's cured. So I don't think you could eat it raw like this but it certainly is uh, not going to take long on the barbecue so we're going to just basically do what we can to cook it up. I know when I poach it it usually takes about uh, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes in that boiling water to get it up to where you can eat it. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so to make my uh, wet rub, I'm going to take a little bit of brown sugar. How much? Enough to cover both sides of that meat. So, your your call. I don't know, I'm gonna save about a half a cup, maybe. A cup of that. I'm gonna add some maple syrup. That's the wet part of it. You know, before I put that, in, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna add a bit of dry mustard. I always use the dry stuff. What's that about a half a tablespoon? And cloves. Maybe about that much. Give it a little bit of a A little bit of zip. Get those mixed up together. You can put whatever you want in if you want cayenne or ginger, might not go too bad in there. Whatever you'd put on ham, basically. Making a bit of a rub for ham. I use the same rub for when I do a ham in the oven. Okay. Now to get it a little bit moist, make the wet part of it. And this will become like a like toothpaste, that sort of consistency. Wow, that's fantastic. Perfect. So tempting to just eat this. Probably could be good on toast. Right, that's, that's about like toothpaste. Thicker than peanut butter. And then when I use my little basting brush and rub it on there. And I rub it on while it's on the barbecue. So we'll go outside and we'll uh, We'll do that next. All right, we're outside and yes, it is snowing. Um, so I'm gonna clean off the old grill. It was steak night last night. I've switched to wood. I had to uh, carve my own grooves in here, but by switching to wood, uh, eliminate any of the possibilities of those little uh, 
metal filings coming out of the uh, the other brushes. I've never had a problem with it, but hey, I got that as a gift. Might as well use it. So on goes the P-Mill. Um, like any barbecue, there's cold spots and warm spots. With all my burners set to the same, it's hotter up here than down here. And that's not a bad thing because sometimes you want to have more heat than others and you can adjust it accordingly. So, not the end of the world. So, I'm going to brush the top of these with my mixture. Turn the heat down because I'm burning the hair off my forearms. You got to leave enough for the second side. And hopefully that'll caramelize on there. Maybe it's a bit thick, a little, little thick. Definitely a lot hotter over here. But anyways, we can move things around. Alright, so we're going to continue that. I'll see you when I'm ready to flip. Okay, I'm just going to move these around a little bit. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it a little bit. Gives us that nice crosshatch. Try to get it onto a piece at um, an area that um, doesn't have grill marks on it or that, that you weren't sitting on last time and then you get those nice crosshatch grill marks on it. Almost done on that side. Alright, let's flip them. Mm. And put on more of our wet rub. That's starting to freeze up here in this cold, wintry day. It's not cold out, it's just snowing. I think this is all lake effect snow. It's, uh, what is today? Today is the 29th of December. Still barbecuing. That's good. Get all that goodness on there. And you want it to kind of run around and glaze and run down the sides and caramelize and get all kind of chewy if you can. So it looks liquid night right now, but when you take those off the grill and uh, let them sit for a while, uh, that'll turn into a nice little uh, sticky sauce. All right, see you in a bit. I'm just gonna show you what it's doing here. I mean, it's good for this time of year, but uh, you know, I am trying to barbecue, so. Anyways, let's give these guys a quarter turn and uh, be on the home stretch. All right, I'm going to get the camera inside because it's getting wet and uh, we'll uh, come back when. We're ready to cut into them. All right, so there's the uh, finished product off of the um, barbecue, and we're gonna let those rest while we make up the rest of the breakfast. 
See you in a second. All right, here's the test. Oh no, that's pretty good actually. Mmm. Thumbs up. All right, that's it for this uh, time on Dash Lab. Thanks. See you again. Keep it real. Don't get any on you. <laughs>